Okay, so to start this story off, I just want to say that I'm usually a responsible kid. I get my work done in school. I do the things I'm told. I do everything right, usually. But on this day, which is today, I decided to vlog because I didn't have a video. So I ended up vlogging. And by the way, in the vlogging clips, I look like dirty and just nasty and just just forget about that. It's whatever. It all ties into the story. And also, I've never vlogged before, so that might have to go into it. But nevertheless, I did end up vlogging that day. And you're going to see those two clips right now. To give context behind it, I had to put in these clips. So they're not that good. They're not that entertaining. It's my first time vlogging, so don't mind that. But once we get closer to the cop scene, um, I'm going to explain what happened prior because we couldn't ex record right when everything happened. I'll explain the whole situation. It's really funny, really weird. Honestly, one of the weirdest situations I've ever been in, in like legal terms, I guess you could say. But yeah, leave a like on this video if you support me and want to pay for my ticket. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll explain everything later. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, yeah, pray for we in here, BB. Hey boys, welcome to my first ever vlog. Um, I've never done this type of stuff in my life, but... I don't know, I'm not even looking at the right fucking camera. What the hell is going on, bros? But yeah, I got suspended from school today. Three nice fat days. Nice large fat, just whop piece, just yoink right on my forehead. So it's a fun little day today. Um, I locked my uh, finger in my car door. It was dummy lit. And um, yeah, I'm picking up my friend right now. We're going to hockey. Um, I, my arm's still fucked up, but I'm just gonna do workouts um, and just not do anything with my arm and then skate and just not really use my arm at all, just stick handle and stuff. But uh, it should be fun. I might give you updates. This video might never even see the light of day, but if it does, then, um... but uh, yeah, if it does, that'd be cool. Who knows? But uh, I'll see you in the next uh... clip. What the fuck? I don't even know, but yeah. Well, my fucking friend, he needed a shirt, okay? So he goes to get a shirt, right? For hockey, because we need to work out and then have a shirt after and this fucker has a stain on his shirt so he's like all right i'm changing it he changes it we're pulling out as we're pulling out he's like this shit has peanut butter on it so we got to fucking come back in and it had a hole in it and shit. like i don't even know but yeah i don't know hopefully we can get to hockey soon um it's 5 12 and we're supposed to be there at 6 and um it's like an hour away so hopefully we'll get there wish me luck but um yeah that's a rip. Okay, now that you know the context behind this story, I'm gonna give you the juicy parts. Basically, I didn't vlog everything that led up to it, so I'm gonna summarize it right now. So my friend and I, Chris, we went to hockey and it ended up being really late. It was like 9.30 when we left or 10 or something around there. And our house is an hour away. So we ended up driving and I ended up having, having to go to Walmart to get milk. So we're going, we're thinking nothing, nothing of it. And we get milk and we end up getting brownies just because they're good. I don't know. We saw them and they were good. And we picked them out, got them, went to our car, left Walmart. It's like 11 at this time. And I'm going to pull out and my friend just says, what if the government looks over these brownies and that's why they're so good or something like that he's just messing around and then i'm like yeah what if and he's like and what if the government is controlling me right now and he was just messing around he like grabbed my steering wheel and tilted it this way and i was like yeah what if and i like took it and like we drove like off the road not like off the road but like to the left lane because there's no one on the road and then my friend's like a cop and i was like what yeah okay and then they actually started tailgating, tailgating us and we actually saw that it was a cop, a state trooper. So we're just like, oh no, like, I've never been pulled over. I usually don't do bad things in my life, right? And it was just, it was just all craziness. And we was just panic in the car, basically. Not panic, but like, we know we didn't do anything wrong. Um, the worst you could get us for was reckless driving or whatever, which it obviously is pretty bad. But like, if she knew the situation, obviously it wasn't too bad. And then, yeah, she pulls us over, asked me for my license and registration, and uh, the rest is on the video. I'll update in between the video if I have to, but enjoy this, and uh, if this is the end, I do hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you do, and uh, I might make more videos like this. I'm not sure, but I hope you guys enjoy.
facing this camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's my fault. I mean, no, it, like, I, it's like, we're yeah. just messing around. Like, I don't know. How's it going, guys? Good. What's up? The reason that you're driving all No, yeah. <laughs> we literally just came out of Walmart, and he pulled, like, he was just pulling, messing around with the wheel, and I was like, yeet, and I just went over. Like, we're not drunk, we're not, I'm sorry, we're just messing around. It's my fault. Yeah. We were just we eating brownies, around. and like, yeah, we were just I'll tell you out. the story if you want. Um... We were eating brownies, and like he was like, "How do they make these so good?" And then I was like, "I don't know. Probably the government put something in them." Like, "Oh no, the government made me do that." Yeah, <laughs> and that's and then nice. I just took the wheel and went over. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that happened. Yeah. All right, give you a driver's license on you. Yes. And we're on our way back from hockey. If you can't smell. <laughs> is it your car? It is. Do you have your registration? Well, we just got pulled over. For. <laughs> Like they're probably reckless driving, but um, it's the dumbest reason ever. It's the dumbest reason ever. Um, if we get a ticket, I'm actually gonna be. It's his fault, but <laughs> it's, it's, it is his fault, but it's like not his fault. If we actually get a ticket, then like I don't know what to say. But throw your window. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it rolling. Nah, it's whatever. If I get a fucking ticket, dude, literally. Oh my god. <laughs> It's our first time ever being pulled yeah, over. Yeah, for the dumbest reason. <laughs> if she gives me a reckless Not driving, I'm telling you, like, I'm, I, like, I'm done. Like, I can't yeah. take it. <laughs> the funny thing is, like, you didn't believe me at first. I was like, oh, like, shit, that's a cop. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just our luck, though, like. I know. The one like ten stretch, ten feet of, of asphalt before we turn and we just take it out. Please just be nice for the love of Lord Jesus. I mean, I'm not really panicking because like. Hey, how do you feel? I that looks sexy. This. this. How do you feel? Honestly, I don't know. I'm mean, obviously it's like brutal, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's the dumbest reason. Of my whole life. Actually, like, I mean, it's funny either way, but my dad got suspended from school, fucked, fucked up my shoulder, and got pulled over in about three days. Three and I'm probably going to get a zero on my math test. <laughs> so, good week. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. She's taking a while. She's doing something. Yeah, I know. Literally, I actually. Oh, oh. If I get points or something, I'm actually like I'm actually gonna be. Fucking I mean, mad. you can take it to court and fight it. Where are the brownies? <laughs> How bad? <laughs> She's like, where the hell did they get brownies from? Got weed in those brownies? And they, that's what she probably thinks, 100. Awesome. All right, this is what happened, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna write you for driving careless. Okay, thank you. Unfortunately, though, you're still under a restricted license. Right. All right. Yeah. You're supposed to be driving after 10 o'clock. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't have anybody driving in the vehicle with you. Yeah, it's a, school, it's a school thing. Can't you do it for school things? You still have somebody driving with you under the age of 21. I was told it was under school preference, like school designated the things you can do it. You can. But you cannot have anybody in the vehicle under age. No, like, months. yeah. They told us that going, like, to or from school or, like, after school events, you can have people in the car. Uh, to me, that doesn't say that back there on my computer. Pause right there. So, basically, when I went home, I did a little research to confirm if she was right or if I was right and where my ticket stands. So, basically, I looked it up and I went to Michigan.gov, which is a very reputable site. Obviously, their facts aren't wrong. It's Michigan's website, the Michigan's government's website. And I'm going to summarize basically what it says. Basically, you can't have... There's going to be a picture on the screen. If you want to read that, go ahead. But you can't have more than one person in your car when you have a level two license, which is what I have, or like a level... It's something like that, a level two. That's what I'm going to call it. You can't have more than one person that's under the age of 21. And it says more than one. So it doesn't say you can't have one, which I only had one. So therefore, I'm not even breaking the law in that regard. And then it says 
Furthermore, if you read on, it says you can't do that except in these circumstances. And it gives a few circumstances. And the third one down says, well, going to or from an authorized activity. And it goes goes in depth on those authorized activities below. And the first one is a school or a school sanctioned activity. And the next one is a sporting event or extracurricular activity, which obviously hockey is. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I won't get a ticket just based off this fact, but you'll see what happens later on. Like she keeps on talking and um, yeah, it just, I don't know. I thought I'd throw this in just to uh, prove my point a little bit more. All right. That's what I was told by an upperclassman. Did you say your event was? Hockey. Yeah, it's hockey for school. Right. Where was it at? Yeah. Was it a game or practice? It was a practice. practice. We had off ice and then we played hockey after. And yeah. So what, you play on the hockey team for school? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, the only way for him to go, his dad has work and he works in a factory and everything and he works really long hours. He works midnights. And I have to take him almost every day. He lives right behind me. Um, he could call our dads or anything. All right, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give this to you. And I'll look into this. Right. Yeah, I don't know for, if, like, if it's actually a rule, like throughout everything. Because what I'm reading on my computer, it says that you, you, yes, you can operate a vehicle right. after 10 if it's going to or from a school activity. Right. But you still, it says you are not allowed to have anybody under age 21 in your vehicle unless it's a family member. I mean, I had to take him. It's not like I'm like trying to, you know, do something wrong, right? I hear you. So I'll give that to you. Um, you have 10 days of contact to court on that. Give me a couple days. I'll find out. I'll do a little bit of research tonight. If it comes down to it, I'll delete it right off my computer. And when you call the court, they won't even have a copy of it. It'll be voided out. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, because if you're right, you're right. I'm not going to... Yeah, I don't know if it's strictly a rule, but to our school, I was always told last year we had a captain. He said that when carpooling, you can take anyone you want as long as it's under a school privilege, and that's what I've always taken it, taken it as. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's actually a rule. But then again... Yeah, see, that's what I've always thought. The rules say straight to yeah. and from the school function. I understand. Yeah, I had to get milk, and we got brownies, and and then you stop at Walmart. Yeah, I, I had to get home. I understand, but... So, regardless, I mean, you're still looking at... And I'm trying to cut you a break by not writing you for careless because you were... Yeah, yeah. You know, the nicest way to put it is you were driving like an idiot. Yeah, engine. obviously, yeah. All right, and that's how people get hurt. But I don't want to put those points on your record. And this is zero points. Right. So... And there's like $100 or $50 or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You guys slow down and drive safe, okay? Yeah, have a nice night. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright, well. <laughs> How much? Um, if it's literally, like, I don't care. Like, if, there's no, if there's no points, um, it doesn't matter to me. But it'll matter to my dad, because you know but that's our night um and it was fun <laughs> i'm gonna go home and uh go to bed hopefully you get some good sleep <laughs>